Let's head back into the KUM uh, News Link Zoom room where uh, we're heading out to the CNMI, our regional correspondent for all things CNMI, uh, standing by, of course, Tomas Manglotnia from the KUM News team. Good morning, Tomas. Good morning, Chris. Nice to see you again. Hi, Bree, Jason. Hi. Uh, welcome back, Joe, sir, as well. Uh, we're joined now with uh, Senator Jude Hofschneider, uh, who's the Senate president, uh, also representing uh, Tinian. Uh, Senator Hofschneider, how are you this morning? Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Oh, Senator, I believe you're on uh, mute there. Okay, let's try this one more time. Good morning. Half a day, Tomas and everybody else that's uh, in this broadcast. Uh, thanks for having me. You know, when I was looking at hearing that interview about the book, I was thinking maybe you could write a, uh, you could write a song about it, Senator. <laughs> certainly, <laughs> certainly. Yeah, I was kind of <laughs> listening to that too as well. It's pretty awesome stuff, yeah. Yeah, we, we know. Uh, I, I I know. I, I enjoy your music, and uh, we uh, we should get you on our, our local music mashup show. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, I wanted to, we wanted to bring you on uh, to talk about several things. I, I know it's been a few months since at least we caught up. Uh, but uh, just to get your reaction first to um, the spike in cases, we know that uh, we're expected to hear uh, more cases on the rise. Uh, the school shifted their plans to reopen to be more school-based testing and screening. Uh, what What's your reaction to that? And also, uh, what are what are some Tinian residents, uh, if they're concerned? I know at the travel summit, you asked the question, uh, what does this mean for Rhoda and Tinian residents, given that there hasn't been reports of COVID there? So thanks. Uh, you know, certainly uh, we're slowly finding out uh, uh, that there is indeed a uh, community spread uh, based on the recent spike over the last few days, and and I'm confident with with the team, with the uh, governor's task force, uh, Dr. Uh, Esther uh, Munya and Warren Del Gomez and Dr. Tudela for their leadership in terms of trying to uh, um, and other frontliners, of course, to try and and and, and get the uh, the true figures in terms of the, the new spread. Uh, I do, one, one thing for sure, there, it's, it's a moving target and that's the reason why I posted that question with regards to Tinian and Rhoda. What are we gonna do? Uh, there's always that fear and anxiety in the communities to, you know, when is this gonna hit? And I'm certain that um, we will be posting that question again uh, and rather sooner than later as to uh, how we're going to to address those uh, uh, moving forward. And what are your constituents uh, telling you on Tinian? Are, are are residents in Tinian concerned about this spread? Yeah, they're 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 concerned. There are some that uh, ran into, and uh, of course, uh, they don't want the the spread to occur on Tinian, and that's the reason why uh, they continually continuously asking for uh, what check mechanism to and from, like for the the daily flights coming to and from Saipan for for us that are. Our regulars uh, is certainly a, a cause for concern for our residents here, but I also do want to keep encouraging our residents in the CNMI to get vaccinated. You know, uh, we're at the upper 80s or mid 80s, I believe, and it's the science has told uh, has, has has said that if we get vaccinated, we have more shield to counter this uh, terrible uh, uh, virus that we that's wreaking havoc uh, in the CNMI. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep uh, reporting on that. We're expecting a, another big uh, case report uh, coming uh, today. Um, and so uh, for, for now, though, uh, uh, wishing everyone safe. And of course, uh, hoping Tinian and Rhoda uh, does not have that uh, COVID spread. Um, are you, uh, just just uh, one last thing on, on COVID-19 and the CDMI. I just, I just want to add, Thomas, uh, yeah. I'm sorry to interject, but I, I do want to say that uh, the their test, there's testing are being done on, on both islands so anyone that's uh would like to volunteer uh to go have tests to make sure for the sake of comfort uh that they're they're not a carrier so they can actually go to uh, uh the health clinics in the respective islands and also there's numbers to call uh to register right yes and the vaccination is also available at the, at the health center i believe that's correct uh, and so I, I wanted to uh, shift gears a little bit, Senator, and talk about uh, some of the efforts that have been happening uh, around uh, also dealing with uh, Rhoda and Tinian and uh, what's being called uh, decentralization. Uh, for those who might be hearing about this idea for the first time, do you mind explaining to us what, what this effort is that, you, uh, that uh, you're involved with? 
Right. Uh, you know, um, and in, it's in the books, actually, and it's in the Constitution that the governor can uh, uh, divest uh, administrative duties to the respective uh, municipality mayors. Uh, however, because um, there are are an increase in, 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 in additional funds coming in for projects, or uh, you know, just the day-to-day -day government operation. I think it's 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 a great time to. I feel that it's a great time to uh, uh, revisit that particular uh, um, function of the governments to streamline the process uh, for both islands and also to remove some of the workloads that are being handled by the folks in the central government and allow the respective uh, mayors and their key staff. And their line agencies to to uh, to uh, proceed on with with the day to day operations with regard, with regards to uh, government services. And so, were you? I know the um, summit had to be rescheduled. What's the update on on that? We're looking at the next. Uh, we're looking at new dates now. Uh, we had to. Uh, uh, I had to make a call to, to cancel it uh, because there's some uh, unexpected occurrence in the legislative branch where I had to to uh, make a uh, an immediate uh, postponement of it for the sake of uh, safety of, of the residents. And uh, what's what are you hearing from uh, from all the other stakeholders in this? Uh, what and and also from the mayors of, of both islands and and their respective representatives and senators. Is there buy-in? Yeah. Are you getting support? Uh, absolutely. Um, uh, the mayors primarily, uh, they really appreciate the, the effort. I've actually uh, partnered up with, uh, it, it all started with the mayor of Tinian, and then I reached out to the mayor of Rhoda. And it's the right thing to do. Um, there are projects here that are funded by uh, whether ARPA or the CDBGDR, CDBGDR that are not necessarily uh, linked to, to that project of Saipan. So in order for us to, to facilitate this and to get it to, to, uh, to groundbreaking, you know, uh, I think it's, it's, it's a good thing. And we have capable staff from the respective senatorial district that can actually help uh, maneuver this thing and, and get it from A to Z. And uh, Senator Hofschneider, uh, one thing you told uh, media was that it's about seamlessly carrying out the day-to-day -day operations. Um, what 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 are some of what does that look like in terms of decentralization? Um, is that logistical? Is that a, a per, an appropriation type of power? What what exactly does okay. that? Look like? Okay, let, let me just bring you back a few years when the cash flow was an issue. Uh, obviously, the Secretary of Finance is the is the uh, the custodian for public funds. So naturally, even if there is a a um, uh, appropriation for the respective senatorial district. He still has to, he or she has to look at the the forest and and make sure that manages the funds and make sure that the people get paid and the vendors get paid. But with this new infusion of cash cash flow, uh, that's not been the case nowadays. Uh, so the seamlessly carrying out day to day. What I meant is, if there is a specific amount of uh, cash that can be be uh, transferred to the respective municipalities, whether it be the Department of Finance here and in Rhoda or the municipal treasures of respective islands, so that uh, uh, you know the 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 mayors can can carry on with the day-to-day -day services of our government here in the municipality. All right. Well, I hope that answers uh, your question. Huh? Yes, yes, it does. Yeah, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll be able to cover the decentralization summit once it once it happens. Uh, I will certainly uh, uh, I'll send, or certainly send you a link, and I want you to chime in. I would wish for you to uh, and just watch and 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 discover the the exchange because that would be a perfect uh, you know a real time uh, discussion on the matter. Yeah, and what are what are uh, uh, some of your uh, colleagues on Saipan saying? Obviously, uh, right, this is um, trying to move some focus off to the other islands. Are you? Well, what are you hearing from your at colleagues? least at least on the Senate side? The governor is actually very much uh, open to this, and uh, and so as the Secretary of Finance, they they you know they're they're the key players uh, with regards to this effort, and so as the the uh, that's the financial part for the government and. And I've also, we've also looking into the permitting side of things, the environmental permits.
and uh, at least on the Senate side, uh, we've, we've, we've gotten some uh, we've gotten support from from the respective uh, uh, members of the Senate from Saipan. And I wanted to shift to uh, more more t uh, matters on Tinian. Uh, you know, we're hearing uh, more from the CNMI Bureau of Military Affairs uh, wanting to do more, uh, tap into the military tourism market. Uh, just generally in terms of development on Tinian, um, what are your, what are your uh, comments on that? And is it something uh, you're looking forward to? Is there anything you can share in terms of what's happening on Tinian with regards to the military? Absolutely. Uh, as you've probably uh, known that the the U.S. Air Force divert field, the construction of it is is uh, has begun, and the I think the very first uh, uh, contract that was issued just this month uh, to begin a portion of the project. Uh, so it's 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 segmented, and you know this is a start. So um, we're certainly excited, and we, we want to see the possibility of how the the coexistence you know we coexist with the with this development here and how it uh, benefits outside the fence you know how it would benefit the, the local economy here uh, and primarily the reason why we and I certainly support the military partnership here is just because of the possibility of having a uh, job opportunities for our locals uh, um, and, and again when I say locals it's not just Tinian folks you know we, I'm talking about Rhoda and Saipan, they, there's if there's a job jobs here and and they, they can certainly apply. But the other thing is the business opportunities uh, that stand to uh, to to uh, come out from from this uh, development. But it's starting to to flow in. Uh, uh, it's not something that it's going to happen overnight, but uh, it's certainly looking that way. Um, there are some legacy businesses that have actually established here on the island, and that's a, a representation of some confidence uh, coming from that end. And uh, Senator Hoshnader, before we leave, I wanted to talk a, a bit of uh, political news amid this election season. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I can't let you go without asking. Uh, uh, obviously, what your thoughts are on the upcoming election? You are a Republican yourself, and uh, I believe the Senate is a majority Republican at, at the moment, right? Of the of the members. That's correct. And, uh, and in, in, in the House, we're seeing um, some Republicans leave and, and uh, maybe a more independent and democratic bloc take place. So what's your reaction to all of this uh, news? Obviously, it's an election season. Yeah, you know, I mean, I can't comment on the individual's uh, member's choice to, to uh, make that call. Uh, but I do want to say that there's still a lot of work to be done. And uh, quite frankly, uh, it's 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 kind of uh, it's being in the holiday season. We should come together and and and, uh, and rid of this divisiveness uh, just yet until the actual um, election season comes around. Um, there are there are things that we need to deliver to the community, to the public, and uh, and it's the holiday season. It's the season of uh, coming together as families, as units. So uh, I want to leave it at that for now. And uh, I, I, speaking on, on the holiday seasons, that's also why one, one reason Governor Torres decided to release this video uh, responding to the investigations. This has been happening in the, in, in, uh, in the House, right? Uh, obviously, you haven't, you're, you're not in the House, you're, you're the Senate President, but I wanted to ask you just for your take on, on the investigations happening in, in the House. Uh, I'll leave it at the House. <laughs> No, but just to answer on, on a serious note, uh, yeah. um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're doing their their, uh, their uh, responsibility in terms of what they're trying to do. But uh, because of it being just there, still in the house, I would rather not comment on the, on the matter right now. Right. All right, Senator Hoshnader, that's all the questions I had. I w always want uh, wanted to bring you on and uh, also uh, the mayor just to update folks on what's happening on our on our sister islands on Tinian. So. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to share? I guess uh, your holiday message, maybe to the community before we let you go. Yes, absolutely. I would like to uh, wish everyone a safe uh, holiday season and whatever you do, uh, enjoy your time. But practice the three Ws. And uh, stay safe, on. All right. Thank you so much again, uh, Senator Jude Hofschneider uh, from Tinian joining us. And uh, we appreciate your time and, and, uh, and, and your comments, Senator. Thank you so much always for your time.
Make it through the week with Monday's Work Week Weather Forecast. This holiday season, we're once again bringing together the island's largest... Join KUAM every Wednesday on Primetime for Inside Business. It's our new weekly segment featuring the struggle of Guam's businesses 